question here uh, says the following, differentiate each of the following with respect to x and simplify your answers. So the first one for part a, we have the function y is equal to the square root of 1 subtract cos x, which I'm going to write as 1 subtract cos x to the power of a half. So we want to find dy by dx, differentiate. So dy by dx, I'm just over here going to say what version of the, uh, what rule I'm using. So this is of the form a function of x to the power of n. And by the chain rule, dy by dx in this case is n, the differential of the expression inside the exponent. So f dashed x and f of x to the power of n subtract 1. Okay, so that's the rule I'm using. So I'm going to uh, effectively bring down the power so we have a half. I'm going to differentiate inside the brackets. Now the differential of cos is negative sign, so the differential of negative cos must be just positive sine x, so that's sine x, and then we're going to have 1 subtract cos x to the power of negative a half. Okay, and if we were to uh, tidy that up, the 1 and the sine x would stay on top, so that would be a sine x on top, divided by the square root, uh, 2 would be on the bottom as well because of that half, and the square root of 1 subtract cos x. And that would be dy by dx. Now you're in an exam, you want to check this is right. So what I would do is I would get my calculator out and I would say I would differentiate the original function, the square root of 1 subtract cos x. So 1 subtract cos x, like that. I would make sure my calculator first is in. Um, I would make sure first, actually, sorry, my calculator is in radians mode because when you uh, do calculus with trigonometric functions, it's got to be in radians mode. So d by dx of the square root of 1 subtract cos x, like that. And I'm going to put x as something, I'm going to put x in here as, let's say, 1. And I would get 0 0.6205. Now, if I put 1 into this function here, let's see what I get. So remember 0 0.6205. So I'm going to say uh, sine of 1 over 2 square root 1 subtract cos 1. And I get 0 0.6205. So that means the thing I differentiated must have been right. Okay, the next one, part 2. So I'm going to differentiate. Um, that's part 1. So part 2, my new function is y is equal to x cubed the natural logarithm of x. You should immediately spot we've got a product here, u multiplied by v, where u is equal to x cubed, so the u dash would be 3x squared, and v is equal to ln x, so v primed must be 1 over x. Now the product rule says dy by dx is going to be equal to uv dash plus vu dash. Okay, so it's going to be equal to u multiplied by v dash, these two multiplied, which would be x cubed multiplied by 1 over x. Add these two multiplied, which would be 3x squared ln x. So that would be x squared plus 3x squared ln x. And I could factorise that, the x squared, so x squared 1 plus 3 ln x. So that's my dy by dx. Again, get the calculator out here. And what I would do is I would ask the calculator to differentiate your original function. So it was x uh, cubed the natural logarithm of x, like that, and put in something like, I don't know, x is 5, and I get 145.7. Now put in that into your final answer, so you've got x squared 1 plus the natural logarithm, it was 3, sorry, 3 times the natural logarithm uh, of x, that is your function that you found, and I'm going to calculate, and I said put 5 in, and I got 145.7, just like before. So I know I've done this right, and I can move on. Okay, next it asks us, given that x is equal to that, simplify the expression. So what I'm going to do, let me just copy that, save uh, this a whole lot easier. Uh, so we're asked to find and simplify an expression for dy by dx in terms of y. So I'm going to take this down here, and that's my part B. So this is part B. Now, alarm bell should be ringing here straight away. X is the subject of the formula, so you should be thinking, I need to use in this question, dy by dx is 1 divided by dx by dy. When you see that, straight away you should be thinking that. 
So I'm going to differentiate with respect to y. So tell the examiner you're doing that. And so we get dx by dy is the differential of this thing. Now there's our u, there's our v. So over here our u is y plus 1. So our u dash is going to be 1. And our v is 3 subtract 2y. So our v dash is negative 2. And we're going to... Uh, the product rule says, sorry, the quotient rule says dy by dx is going to be vu dash minus uv dash over v squared. So we're applying this rule here. So it's um, these two things multiplied, which would be 3 subtract 2y multiplied by 1. Take away these two things multiply negative 2 multiplied by y add 1. All divided by 3 subtract 2y all squared. Okay, which is going to be equal to, well, I'm just going to leave it as 3 subtract 2y and then add 2y add 1 all over 3 minus uh, 3 subtract 2y squared. The reason is I'm asked to, oh, I'm actually asked to find um, this uh, expression properly. So this is 3 subtract 2y and then expanding this out it would be plus 2y add 2 all divided by 3 subtract 2y squared. So that's the x dy. Now you can see here, hopefully, there's a bit of cancellation. The negative 2y and the 2y cancel, and the 3 and the 2 go to 5. So dx dy is equal to 5 over 3 subtract 2y all squared. So therefore dy dx in terms of y is equal to 3 subtract 2y squared all divided by 5. Or you could write it like that, a fifth like that.